Oh, I need gloves. What is it? All over here, like those normal, like regular 50 year old lady real estate agents, they got their power suits on with their pearls and all that crap. And they're like, The bones are so good, pride of ownership, stuff like that. Okay, well, you know, there is some serious validity to that stuff. Okay, furnace, hot water tank, okay, roof, all those things, right? Those are the big money makers, man. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Youngstown investors, holla if you hear me. What's up? I got something for y'all. 3658 Mahoning Avenue, okay? Now this, this property, y'all, this thing might not look like much. I get it. It doesn't look like a lot. You may be wondering, why are all the TVs and computers sitting on the floor as opposed to on top of like a TV stand kind of deal or like a desk? I get it, man. But hey, them's the breaks when you're investing in low-income housing, okay? If uh, you're in this game for a long time, and I've been in this game a very long damn time, I've sold over $200 million worth of properties just like this one to investors just like you all throughout Ohio. Okay, I've done this a very long time, guys. And by the way, like this property, $89,900, okay? So it's like under $100,000. So if we have properties that are less than $100,000 and I've sold over $200 million worth of those properties. Y'all do the math yourselves. Grab your iPhones and fucking type that shit in. You'll see that I've sold a lot of these motherfuckers, okay? And what I will tell you through that vast experience of selling a lot of these motherfuckers is it's just normal. It's normal for TVs and computers and, like, shit like that to be on the floor. That's just how it flies, okay? We're not renting out the Taj Mahal here, folks. We're dealing with low-income investing, and what you need to focus on is not stuff like that. You got to focus on what matters, and what matters here is a couple things. Number one, the motherfucking bones, okay? Y'all ever hear, like, those normal, like, regular 50-year-old lady real estate agents? They got their power suits on with their pearls and all that crap, and they're like, the bones are so good, pride of ownership, stuff like that, okay? Well, you know, there is some serious validity to that stuff, okay? Furnace, hot water tank, okay? Roof, all those things, right? Those are the big money makers, man. Those are the, well, I guess they're not really money makers. I should say those are the big money losers, right? Those are the things that are going to cost you guys a lot of money, right? Roof, lasts you like 30 years, dude. Right now, in, in an era post Bidenomics, we're looking at like eight grand for this roof, okay? Furnaces, three to four thousand dollars. They last about thirty years, okay? Uh, hot water tank. Those are, you know, they're they're humping up close to two G's right now, okay? They're they're definitely above fifteen hundred right now. Those last about fifteen years. All three of those big high ticket cost items for y'all, five years or newer, okay? That's number one. That's, that's rule, that's big point numero uno, right? Numero dos, okay, folks? You know what else is really important to me? The amount of fucking money left on the table with this ugly little duckling of a house, okay? These tenants, they're paying eight seventy five a month, okay? But let me tell you, you get a four-bedroom house in Youngstown, you get yourself a tenant with a Section 8 voucher, something these current tenants do not have, you are going to get Freaking paid, baby. Thirteen fifty is about what I would anticipate uh, Section 8 paying for a property like this with this many bedrooms. Section 8, they pay a lot when you have bigger bedrooms, number one. Number two, Youngstown is dealing with a shortage of Section 8 properties, okay? They got way more people with vouchers than they have houses, okay? So, yeah. It ain't super duper pretty, okay? But I look past that and I look to the real money. The real money is in the roof, the furnace, the hot water tank, and that massive amount of money, right, that is left on a table. I got to grab the calculator because I don't even know what that number is off the top of my head, right? 1350 minus 875. What is, that's almost $500, folks. That is $475 left on the freaking table right now, okay? So, with that, 
the savvy investor knows what's up. The savvy investor sees the value here. The savvy investor is going to make an offer by submitting it to my team. Sales at HoltonWise.com. If you want to pay cash, great. Send me the email. Be like, yo, dude, I want to buy my honing for $89.9. I'm going to pay cash. Here's my proof of funds. We'll rock and roll. Or maybe you want to finance it. Same deal. Just send me your pre-approval letter. Or maybe you want to finance it, but you don't have a lender. Well, guess what? I may have mentioned this once or twice. Uh, I've sold $200 million worth of this kind of stuff, guys. And as I said, you take $200 million at a price point of like under hundred k that's a lot of properties, right? We'd have to get the old calculator out here to do that for sure. Um, we're not going to, but I just want to make a point to you all. If, that's a lot of fucking properties, okay? So in the timeline of my career doing all of those countless properties just like this one, you know what I've done? I've met a lot of private money guys, a lot of hard money guys, a lot of commercial lending guys, a lot of guys that make a lot of money loaning money to guys and gals just like you, okay? So if you guys need financing, I have a huge Rolodex. I've built this Rolodex up over my entire career, and I am now giving that to you guys. So if you guys need my Rolodex of lenders to put together the financing so you could buy this deal from me, send me an email, sales at holdenweiss.com. Let me know that that's what you want to do. And last but not least, if you would like to tour the property, check things out, talk to the tenant, make sure everything is all hunky-dory, you know, look in their room, look in their closets, check out what's going on in the fridge, get all that stuff squared away before you put an offer, you could go ahead and send. I'm just kidding. You're going to have to fuck yourself. We're not going to let you do that. No. You assholes really think that we're going to let every random motherfucker who's interested in this bother these people? No, that's not how it works, okay? Newbies out there, you guys might have this weird false impression that like tenants are just going to let random strangers uh, into their homes like on a whim or like we're going to go through the process of like coordinating that so you random jack offs out there could bother these human beings. That's not how this game works, folks. I, I see that from new investors all the time. So uh, just so you guys know, if that's like your expectation of buying a rental property, you're going to have to really seriously adjust your thought process or like, fuck off, because, like, I don't want to talk to you, right? Uh, if you want to tour properties prior to putting in an offer, that's great. That's fine. I'm totally cool with that. Those properties need to not have human beings living in them, okay? You ain't allowed to disturb tenants. That's not how this business rolls, guys. So if you're one of those people that really needs to, like, get in there and feel it and touch it, cool, man. Check out some of our vacant properties. As far as the process goes for an occupied property, you have to make that offer based on what you got here in this video. And then, of course, we will let you do your due diligence. So after we have vetted you, made sure you had your proof of funds or your proof approval, you've submitted an offer that is acceptable to the seller, and we've done the contract and the earnest money, then we'll make a contingent on an inspection and an appraisal if need be, okay? You got to commit, right? This ain't just every random tire kicker bothers people. So that's how we're going to roll. Let's go! Oh, I need gloves. Show, show people the fucking that is on a corner next to Chubby D's. Fuck yeah, dude, I wanna go to Chubby D's. Chubby D's nuts. <laughs> it sounds like we're just gonna follow it. Oh, it's fucking gay, dude. I gotta pee. Well, that's what might be fake. Super windy and tight in here. I don't think I'm not, I'm not fucking standing up. The first up. thing he said was like, hey, sure, yeah. it's really windy. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey Papa. Hey, hey, girl. Papa. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah,
garage here. Probably just pop in the front. Yeah, I'm going in the front. Oh, this is a driveway? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.